today we are going to actually be working on a little accordion style picture album for my father and or a man in your life doesn't matter who I guess but this one is specifically for my father and it looks like this I have two little brads that kind of connect the twine so Get a look at that. The inside, the accordion style, and then you have little folders. And when you open it, tie it really carefully now, and it flips up like this. And then on the inside, it has the accordion file. And the um, accordion style on the sides with little uh, dividers and they have little tabs and then my idea for this was to actually every valley hill and valley you know mountain valley thing every valley will have a picture kind of like a scrapbook but they're they can be pulled out so that was kind of my vision for it and i hope that you guys enjoy this it was definitely a trial and error um I will just give you, give you a heads up, the hodgepodge was a mess. <laughs> so enjoy this and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with too. Bye. Hi guys, today I am working on a accordion style um, picture album for my father. And so I have some really simple but cute pattern paper. My husband helped me pick these out. So I have the Argyle pattern paper and then the Stripe pattern paper. And I have been using um, HodgePodge, so it has that glossy sheen to it. But I don't know if you guys have ever worked on a um, worked with a budget, but that's what I've been doing for the last couple times that I've been working with my scrapbook so I have my pattern paper actually pasted to just a uh, card stock that that I got off of a present a box so let me give you the dimensions for this and I've been using centimeters so I apologize if if you don't understand my measurements. But I folded this at 11 and a half centimeters. Um, this is the 11 and a half centimeter. And then two and a half centimeters, so one inch. Uh oh. Might have some problem. I haven't folded it yet since I put the center inside. So I might have to. For it. Um, so 11 and a half centimeters, two and a half, and then this long part right here is um, 17 and a half, so it's a pretty long piece. It's right there, if I can get it to bend. Should have scored this before I showed this, but there we go. So I have that. Okay, and then so this is 17 and a half, and I'm going to hodgepodge this, so that's why you see part of it shiny and the other part is matte. Um, and then this part right here is six six and a half centimeters and then this last final board is twelve and a half so it's going to look like this when I get it all finished and I'm going to have uh, a little loop that's going to go right here and it's going to hook the two pieces together. So when you open it up, 
I have already started working on my little accordion parts. And it's going to paste right here. And then the other one's going to paste on the other side. So if you can envision this with me, <laughs> still working on it. Um, one on one side, and then on the other. And then I'm going to put little scrapbook pages down in here so they'll, they will slide out. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down with my hodgepodge. And um, the thing I like about hodgepodge is it's really fast. It dries really fast. So I'm going to hodgepodge to this side, then flip it over, and then give this one a second coat. And then I will get right back to you. So see you in just a minute. inch strip to cover up my seam right here. This is actually where I was folding it and I must have folded it when it was really wet and moist and it kind of split open. So I'm going to see if my zigway will kind of help cover that over. If not, I guess it's not. That might not stick. I'm going to use my quick dry adhesive to put this one and a half inch strip over the seam. And this strip is actually the same color as what I'm using on the inside. So I'm going to hodgepodge this. Probably have a little, yeah. This, these sponge brushes actually hold so much glue in there. I don't even need to dip it again. So. Okay. Okay. There we go. And it won't matter that this is on the inside because we're, we're going to have pictures on here. So it's okay that it kind of sticks out like that. Alright, I'm going to do a second layer, get it really good and on that seam, because this is where I fold it, so I want it really strong right there, and I'm not going to fold it this time, I think that's what happened last time, I folded it while it was wet, and it bent my, like ripped my paper. And this pattern paper is from my, my mind's eye, I believe. Let me look. Oh, excuse me. Yes, my mind's eye, everyday tango. And it's it's really thin, so just give it a chance to dry. And I should have done that, but I was too anxious to see what it would look like folded up. 